Hey everyone, welcome back. So the next campaign is an interesting one. We have to take uh, Teddy Roosevelt from city to city and you're supposed to use your uh, railroad tycoon skills to choose the best route for what needs to be done. So let's just uh, get right into it and we will load this. Pretty good going out there in the southwest. Okay, now maybe you're ready to step up to the plate and play with the big boys. Again, that's all he says. Um, so the uh, campaign's called Whistle Stops and Promises. So what we have to choose here is th the map has uh, some pretty steep grades and um, you have to decide whether you want a high top speed with terrible grade performance well that's right out because um, if we don't have good grade performance we're gonna get stuck a 260 mogul uh, mid-range top speed and grade performance or the 260 nice the camelback day, isn't it? nice cool breeze Can nice you, birds yeah nice if you get started already alright thank you or uh, 260 uh, Camelback, uh, low top speed, outstanding grade performance. I used this when I tried it, and I followed a, uh, a recommended station according to the FAC, and I only got silver. So I'm debating whether to do this with the low top speed. I can't do the low top speed, so we're going to do this. We're going to do the uh, 260 mobile. All right, pause it quick. Uh, you volunteered to oversee Theodore Roosevelt's Whistle Stop Tour of the Northwest to gain support for the 1904 elections. Teddy wants to see as many cities as possible in 14 days and has a full train of staff, press, and baggage. All of it must come along, no exceptions. For a bronze medal, take him and his entourage to 13 cities by midnight January 14th. For a silver medal, hit 14 cities. For gold, hit 16 cities. Money is no object. Make the president happy. He's not the president yet. So, there we are in Cheyenne. There's our train. Um, but, so the first thing we can do to survey the route is we can click the globe picture. We can click the grade map and say, okay, well, what do we see here? Well... Uh, we see some pretty steep grades. Uh, that's going to be slow. And this is pretty bad, but it's downhill. If we're going this way, it's downhill. And then we got a decision to make which way to go here. Um, we're going to be offered something from uh, Missoula, but uh, no. I'm not going to take it because I don't like that route. Um, I also don't like the way the stations are spaced and there there's a switchback which is kind of interesting um, I didn't know you could do switchbacks uh, ignorance on my part but yeah this is slow it's slow to get through here the grades aren't too bad they're not in the red but yeah you're not going, you're not going anywhere. so um, so we're gonna go down here and we've got a couple of bad grades near Boise but again uh, I, don't know, I don't even see that one. I don't know whether that's uphill or downhill. Uh, same with that. And then here, this looks like an uphill for sure, or maybe not. Maybe it's a downhill. Don't know. Um, so we'll hit up that, and then we'll come around here, and we'll hit Pasco. Then we'll come around here, and I think we should pull into Spokane just because it's here. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take this northern route so after Spokane we're gonna fly through here to Missoula then we're cut through the mountains and now the interesting thing here is is that these are terrible grades but it's downhill going this way so then we can hit Helena and we can hit Great Falls and then after that what do we do well we're kind of short on stations is the problem. Um, we need to get back as quick as possible. Uh, but there's a long stretch between stations. We could go this way, but th these are bad uphill grades. 
we could go we're gonna have to fight these grades I think just because we're gonna need water and sand when we get back off the mountain and then we can fly down through here you know so the question is do we hit Spokane first or second um, it looks like an easy shot either way and then we're gonna have to come all the way over here and uh, hit Portland, uh, Salem, Eugene, and then we'll do Tacoma, Seattle, Bellingham. That will be 16, but whether we can get there in time is the big question. Um, the other thing that you could potentially look at when you're trying to figure this scenario out is you could look at the stations and say, well, which stations have, uh, you know, what speeds up turnaround? Well, telegraph poles speed up turnaround. So which stations have telegraph poles? Uh, not all of them, that's for sure. Uh, this is Spokane. It's got telegraph poles, so there shouldn't be any penalty going into Spokane. Cheyenne sure doesn't. Pasco does. Boise does. Helena. Missoula does. Bozeman. Great Falls. Seattle. Rock Springs. Pocatello. Billings. I don't even know what that town is. Uh, Eugene doesn't, Salem doesn't, Portland doesn't, and you know if you wanted the bomb you can't, no this action is not allowed in this scenario, uh, Bellingham doesn't, so yeah, so I, I, yeah, I don't know, at this point I'm like well am I having fun or do I have to get out a, uh, uh, a spreadsheet and keep track of who's got what and when so I can get gold, there's no money involved, okay, so yeah. Uh, let's just see if we can get at least silver. So here we go. Cheyenne's the first stop. Then I said Rock Springs and Pocatello and Twin Falls and Boise. And then up to Pasco. And then I'm doing Spokane and Missoula. And then over the hill to Helena and Great Falls. And man, I would like to take the, uh, yeah, and then after that, we're going to just come right back to Portland, and Salem, and Eugene, and then Tacoma, Seattle, Bellingham, and it's either going to work or it's not. Um, we're not wasting our time with any of these cities down here because, I don't know, they look too out of the way, I don't have a good reason. Uh, so here we go. And what we do is let's lock the screen under this train and crank the speed up to full. And Cheyenne has come out in droves to see the candidate. And they're, they're trying to keep us entertained. And here comes Rock Springs. Keep going. The Missoula Chamber of Commerce has offered to pay for an upgrade to the firebox of your locomotive if you'll stop by with Mr. Roosevelt. It will increase the speed of your locomotive by 10%. However, if you want to have it done, you'll need to be there, be here within two days. We hope to see you here. Not doing it. People of Rock Springs cheer upon your arrival. Let's see if we can just follow the train. Pocatello. Three stations, keep going. Yay. Here comes Twin Falls. And now we're pulling into Boise. Five stations. And yeah, this is a stretch. There's a there's there was a grade there. Still five stations. Oh, the Missoula Chamber of Commerce is very disappointed by. Um, now here we go into Pasco. And now comes the six stations. Keep going. Okay, here comes Spokane. Because, come on, Spokane wants to see the president. There we go. Quick turnaround there. We're finally in Missoula. Now here's the hill. This, this trip's nice. Helena. Great Falls. But the trip back is going to be slow. Ten stations. Keep going. It's going to be slow. There's that hill. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Time is flying. Time is flying. Ten stations still. And now we're moving and we're going to go all the way to Portland. This is fun, isn't it? 
Still 10 stations, keep going. Uh, yeah, here's Portland. Play by play here. There's Portland, but we didn't pull in. There's Portland. And there's Salem. There's some hills there, come on. 12 stations. How long do we have? Is that a 14? And there's Eugene. And you know, I didn't check to see if we had the options to rebuild the track. 13 stations. I don't know, we're not gonna make it, because we've only got till midnight on the 14th, I thought. We got time, let's just check it. Uh, midnight, January 14th. Yep, I don't think we're gonna make it. 13 stations. That's it. Oh no, we have till January 14th. My bad. Are we in? 16 stations. We made it. It's the goal! Raw talent, I think. This proves I can play railroad tycoon too. Teddy is proud of you. He gives you a gold medal and a stuffed bear as a reward. It looks like you're a shoe in for Secretary of Transportation. You just did it out of patriotism, right? Well, I didn't do it out of anything else because I, I don't get any real money. All right, do you wish to keep playing the current game? No, I do not. And we'll hear the old guy talk at the end of this one. Well, looks like you made some pretty influential friends out west. That's good. Hopefully you learn from them. Because you'll need every favor and trick you can muster up for this next doozy. It's a doozy. So the next one's Crossing the Great Divide, which is going to be another video. Um... This is uh, a 12 minute let's watch the train go from station to station video. And for the next, uh, oh, no wonder I keep calling it scenario. Because they call it scenario. Even though I call it campaign, even though it's called campaign elsewhere. I feel better now. So, uh, that's it for this one. I uh, hope you liked it. Um, if you did, uh, please press the like button, subscribe if you want to see more of these, and next time we'll do Crossing the Great Divide. Nice day, isn't it? Nice yeah. cool breeze, Yep. nice birds, Yep. nice if you get started already. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. See you later.